It's an unprecedented era in human history. The golden age, which we're rapidly approaching, shows no signs of decline. The brightest minds on the planet are intent on surpassing every boundary of science and technology, churning out unparalleled discoveries and innovations. But even in this era, a cloud of uncertainty looms. Despite the absolute majesty of progress, the ancient sword of war continues to hang over humanity's head. International tensions still persist, like silent sparks waiting to flare up. And the technological gap creates insurmountable abysses between different regions of the world, with some areas keeping pace with the endless race for innovation and others left behind in the shadow of inequality. Naval forces have become the true bulwarks of emerging nations, developing technologies that have eclipsed aviation, reducing it to a mere subsidiary. Polluting technologies, once the backbone of industrialization, have been set aside, not for ethical reasons, but for economic ones. And then there's Mars, humanity's second home, with its permanent extraterrestrial bases inhabited by humans. The colonization of the Red Planet began in the 30s and has been perfected over time. In contrast, the Moon, with its low gravity, has become a sort of workplace for helium-3 extraction companies. World sports are dominated by jump ball, a game that leverages the Moon's low gravity, taking sports entertainment to an entirely new level. In the midst of this extraordinary era of discoveries and advancements, something is missing. The very essence of humanity seems to be lost in the whirlwind of technology and innovation. The sense of self is dissolving, crushed under the weight of omnipresent technology. The individual is getting lost in the multitude, and their uniqueness is being consumed by the unstoppable march of progress. Yet, in the heart of every human being persists a spark, a desire to discover their own self, to claim their uniqueness in an increasingly homogeneous world. It is the pursuit of this individuality, of this true and authentic self, that drives humanity to look beyond the apparent perfection of the golden age, in search of something deeper, truer. Because, despite all its splendor, the golden age is nothing but a continually spinning golden wheel. It's time to find the real wheel, the correct course, and perhaps, in this quest, humanity will discover the real meaning of its existence. And now, dear reader, I invite you to plunge into these pages, not as a simple consumer of a work of fiction, but as a witness to an account. An account of events, of discoveries, of triumphs, and tragedies that, although they may seem futuristic to you, are actually my world, the present of the year 2091. Relive with me these last years, travel through my memories, my experiences, my perceptions. Observe, through my eyes, our planet, so similar yet so different from what you know. Listen to the stories of the new heroes, the pioneers of progress and the guardians of peace, and discover how they have shaped the present world, my world. However, remember, what you will read in these pages is my truth, my reality. It may not be yours, it may not be your children's. Each of us has a unique view of the world, forged by our own experiences, dreams, hopes, and fears. What is true for me may not be true for you. But this is the beauty of life, isn't it? The infinite variety of perspectives and interpretations, the richness of experiences and stories that intertwine to create the grand narrative of humanity. So, open your mind, let your preconceptions fade away, and immerse yourself in this journey through time. Welcome to 2091, welcome to my reality. It's time to turn the page and start our journey. Now begins, the new wheel.